Good morning. This is Preston Brown. Today is Tuesday, April the 26th. Line for today is line one, French toast sticks with sausage. Line two, crispy chicken salad with roll. Your weather for today will be a high of 86 degrees with thunderstorms this evening. Let's keep earning those bees and have a great day. Happy birthday today to Kaliana Kong, Pauline O'Connell, Carson Fulker, and Antonio Parker Crawford. Help, Bonnie B. Nelson Elementary eliminate styrofoam. Miss McGarity's fifth grade class episode. What is styrofoam? Styrofoam is a material that does not break down quickly when littered or thrown out. Polystyrene is a negative chemical in styrofoam, which makes it very hard to recycle. How does styrofoam affect us? Styrofoam has a negative effect on our environment, our health, and our economy. When exposed to sunlight, styrofoam creates a harmful air pollution which contaminates landfills and consumes the ozone layer. This makes the air we breathe worse quality. Every day, approximately 1,369 tons of styrofoam is buried into the U.S. landfills. Styrofoam products fill up 25 to 30% of landfill space around the world. Without it being able to recycle it easily, it just sits in landfills and takes up room. Food remnants found at styrofoam take out containers, encourage animals to eat the container too, which can lead to choking and digestive stomach problems. How does it affect our health? Polystyrene from foam contains the chemical styrene, which has been linked to cancer, vision, and hearing loss impaired memory and concentration, nervous system issues, and more heating up polystyrene foam containers can use the styrene to filter into the food or drinks this is toxic to us. How does it affect our economy? Now one product is virtually impossible to recycle and never biodegrade in styrofoam, but it's not just terrible for the environment, it's terrible for the taxpayers. Styrofoam increases the cost of recycling by as much as $20 per ton because it has to be removed. May of Bloomberg, February 14th, that 13th. How can we help? Hi, my name is Madison Stuckey and I am in Miss McGarry's fifth grade class. After watching our clip on Styrofoam, I bet you are wondering how you can help. Well, our class is wanting to get rid of Styrofoam trays in the cafeteria. In the past, we have used reusable lunch trays. These are so much better for the environment and will cost our school less over time. It costs us about $150 each day to ensure there are enough trays for all the students in the school to eat lunch. If we spend that each day of the year, we will spend a total of $27,000 on styrofoam trays that will not only harm us, but also harm the world around us. We have found some alternatives, such as unbleached bamboo and plant fiber trays for less than two cents difference. From the old styrofoam trays, we will be spending $150 more for the whole year to make an outstanding difference in our community. Seems worth it to me. We have also looked at reusable trays, which cost $2.98 per tray. That means we would spend $2,090 for enough trays for the whole school. Although this sounds like more than the styrofoam trays, these trays would be used for years to come. In order to help us take action, please consider signing our petition to get rid of the use of styrofoam trays in our school. We will be passing this along to Sodexo in hopes of changing our form of trays. Our class members will be sitting at a table outside the office in the morning. Please consider stopping on your way and then signing your name to help us make a difference. We can't wait to show the world what great game changers we are and make a line of notes in a better place. Yeah. Bye bye, Styrofoam! Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hey. Hey. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us for the school mission statement. Learning to lead, leading to learn, that is myself, home, school, and world.